Broadway's newest pop concert sensation is nominated for nine Tony Awards and Juliet, up for Best Musical and Best Costume Design. Here's Beth Stevens with another edition of Building Broadway. Thanks, Tamsin. Tony-winning costume designer Paloma Young offers an array of Shakespeare and chic for Anne Juliet. I talked to her about the inspiration behind the pop musical. So this show takes Shakespeare and Romeo and Juliet and just does this amazing blend with pop culture and you know musical icons. So tell me what you did in terms of research to mix these two elements. Well, because of the choreography, because of the language, and because of the music, we knew we were not going to be doing just straight period clothes. You can't move in them. They don't follow the, the feeling of the show. We did want it to feel like anyone who has ever had any experience with a Shakespeare show would get something that they expected but in an unexpected way. So we've got some corsets, we've got some doublets, we've got some pumpkin hose, we've got uh, one cod piece, we've got some ruffs, but then- right, that's like the collar, right? Yeah, the Elizabethan. That's a, yeah, the Elizabethan ruff. Um, we have a whisk, which is even more of the sort of Elizabethan style. But then each of those pieces gets mixed with contemporary streetwear, streetwear that feels very 90s and 2000s. The Max Martin era is also quite large. Right, because this is all the music of Max Martin, so you have these pop icons that you're getting to work with and play with. Right, it was a combination of building our capital C costume pieces from scratch and doing that within our sort of candy color palette and then making them seem very old. Uh, we had some great breakdown artists on the show, uh, as if they had, we've had them for years and years. And so then, breakdown artists are people who are roughing up the costumes? Yeah, distressing. <laughs> and actually some of these clothes are very difficult to break down because they're athletic wear. It's not meant to it's look meant to old. Last, right? It's meant to look <laughs> brand new as long as possible. So in some ways, like Nike and Adidas were the bane of my existence because they made their clothes too good. Well, that's something I think people don't even realize about costume design for Broadway. These people are moving, they're doing eight shows a week. These have to, no matter how much, how much you distress them, they have to be durable. And tell, tell us a little bit about that aspect of it. This show, because it wants to look quite broken in, has been a really fun challenge to figure out how to make things that are hardy enough to be danced in full out eight times a week. And so there are a lot of tweaks, especially in anything that has boning, corseting, like traditional uh, corseting structure. We've added a lot of stretch panels. We do a lot of, they're built more like ballet bodices. So there's a lot more stretch in them. There's and a that, lot of secrets to these costumes. Oh, so many secrets. And there's lots of trick costumes too. And yeah, they have to work like machines. But at a certain point, we don't want them to look polyester. Right. Uh, and it is a trade-off that we make that we want these costumes to look like they're being maintained by a scrappy troupe of actors. And bless my wardrobe department, they get to be the scrappy actors. And to a certain extent, I, no costume is off limits. I was like, if there's any sort of damage to this, I wanna see the mending. The concept of our design only improves the more that these costumes get repaired, break down and repaired. When you talk about the feel of the show, what is that vibe for you? The feel of the show to me is a party. Uh, even when dramatic things are happening, there's always a follow-up uh, with something um, big and joyful. And so the show feels like a lot of joy. And then the costumes, they have that joy, but it's very specifically focused in celebrating difference and individuality. Sometimes the joy of the show is like one big movement, but with the costumes, I wanted people to be able to look at each individual 
character, but even just each individual ensemble player and see a, a potential story in the depth and the layers of their costume. Can you give me an example of that? In the players, when everyone is gathering to read the end of Shakespeare's play and put on, put on the show and they're in their rehearsal costumes, a lot of the actors, the players, have uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts and like old show swag from Shakespeare's other shows. Right. You know when you show up to rehearsal and you want the other people in the cast to know, hey, I was in the original cast of uh, Antony and Cleopatra. <laughs> what I love about this show is that uh, all of this music um, has been presented to the world through icons right. and has built icons. And Shakespeare is an icon, and so much of an icon that actually he loses complete control. Um, and, and the idea of Shakespeare gets, everyone gets to own a piece of it. And so in the costumes, there's like a little foreshadowing of that in terms of all the players with their little rehearsal t-shirts. So let's talk about the inspiration that you found, not just in the Shakespearean silhouettes, but in the pop stars. Did you do a deep dive into Britney Spears and Katy Perry, etc.? The weird thing is, I don't think anyone needs to do a deep dive. Right. Uh, swim in the shallow. Yeah. You know, the thing is, it's already in my blood. Um, I love pop music, and uh, I have experienced many highs and lows in my life with this being the soundtrack of my life. And I love pop stars. When we were going to design uh, Juliet's I live in France, I'm gonna marry somebody new, I'm a whole new person, her new look for act two, we'd already established that the color for France was blue. So I was like, well obviously she needs to be in the Britney Spears denim moment from the Britney Justin red carpet denim moment. And so I took that research and put it together with what we wanted our Juliet to be, which the dancing in the scenes that she's in this look and it felt important that we put her in a jumpsuit. So it's not a ball gown, but you can definitely look at the research. You know, I pulled up the pictures just to make sure I remembered it correctly. And you can see the through line into Juliet's version of what that outfit is.